Hi there, this is Kelly Dean from the Tummy Team, and we're going to talk about prenatal core and pelvic floor connection in this video. A lot of times, we kind of don't look at the physical components of pregnancy and childbirth. The uterus is a huge, powerful muscle in the women's body, and it does a ton of things during pregnancy to expand, to support the uterus, and to help with the actual pushing out of the baby, right? It's huge, it's massive, and it's really strong. But the muscles of your core and pelvic floor actually support the uterus. And there's a lot of things we can do in pregnancy to prepare for the demands of pregnancy, the demands of birth, labor, delivery, and birth recovery. Okay, the corset, the core muscles, the transverse abdominis wraps around your core, right? It wraps around your core like a corset and it comes together and supports the uterus to put it in optimal fetal alignment, which we have a lot of information about that on our site. Optimal fetal alignment puts the baby lined up with the birth canal in the best possible way. So the, the corset muscle can help support the uterus to put baby in optimal fetal alignment, but it also can help support the contractions of the muscle, okay, by, by holding it snug into the body and supporting so each contraction is more effective. The pelvic floor is the floor of your core. It's the bottom part. Your course it wraps around like a cylinder. The bottom part is your pelvic floor muscles. And there's several layers of these muscles. These muscles support the pelvis and hold you together at the same time as stretch and allow the baby to come out. And we need both. We need some stability and some elasticity to this muscle group. The pelvic floor's job is actually to open and relax so baby can be pushed through the birth canal. The uterus does the pushing, the transverse supports the uterus, and the pelvic floor opens to let the baby through, okay? There is a natural co-contraction of your core and pelvic floor for real life. Your, your, your core wraps around and when it engages, there's a natural lift of your pelvic floor. So when they typically, most of the time for everybody, men and women, the core comes in, the pelvic floor should lift up. It should be just a gentle supportive lift to hold and stabilize. This is great for everything except for two things, having a bowel movement and pushing a baby out. These are the two times that the core and the pelvic floor need to actually disassociate, which means the core needs to do one job and the pelvic floor needs to do another job. And so in that, there's a coordination, there's a connection. The core comes together and the pelvic floor needs to let go. Now, most of our clients are very disconnected from their core and their pelvic floor far before they even become pregnant. So to expect you to know how to get this coordination in um, labor and in the pushing phase of labor, which is by far the most intense time, without doing any preparation or any training ahead of time, kind of sets people up for failure. And it makes it very difficult. And then we're, re we're forced to kind of use other strategies like holding our breath and bearing down, which can cause a lot of damage to your core and your pelvic floor. And not to mention that it doesn't help because you're not breathing, right? And everybody needs oxygen in that stage, you and baby. So what we do is we work on that connection and coordination prior to birth so that you have some muscle memory to know how the core comes in, the pelvic floor lets go. There's some great strategies that we do in our prenatal core training and all of our work that we do with pregnant women, and we would love to give you more information. Check out what we do at the Tummy Team. Thanks so much.